man overboard man overboard hello friends welcome in this video i will share all the important factors that are to be considered when making a choice of the search button so here are the nine factors number 1 search area size number 2 environmental conditions number 3 information on missing person or object number 4 probability of detection number 5 resources and assets available number 6 time constraints number 7 terrain and seabed features number 8 search objectives number 9 experience and expertise of the search team now that we know all the factors let me discuss each factor and the kind of pattern you may choose in various circumstances for search area size if the search area is relatively small and well defined the expanding square search pattern or the creeping line search pattern could be considered for larger areas the parallel track search pattern or sector search pattern may be more appropriate let's talk about the number 2 factor now environmental conditions in harsh weather conditions or poor visibility it may be challenging to maintain accurate track line in parallel track search pattern in such cases the expanding square search pattern or creeping line search pattern which require less precise navigation could be more effective and now the third factor information on missing person or object if there is a specific information on the missing person or object's last known location speed and direction it is advisable to use that information to adapt the search pattern accordingly for example if there is an evidence of possible drift the search pattern should account for this movement and in cases where the person has fallen overboard is not available then we have to trace it back to the point where the person was last seen thus increasing the search area in such cases parallel track search pattern could be most efficient let's talk about the fourth factor now probability of detection the parallel track search pattern and sector search pattern generally offer a higher probability of detection as they cover larger areas and provide overlapping search coverage these patterns are suitable when the search objective is to cover a significantly large area quickly fifth is the resource and assets the availability of search and rescue assets such as aircraft and ships will impact the selection of the search pattern the use of aircraft may be better suited for parallel track line search pattern due to its availability to cover large area faster factor 6 is time constraint if there are time constraints the parallel track search pattern is advantageous as it covers more significant search areas quickly however if the time permits a more detailed search using the expanding square search pattern may be more appropriate and coming to the factor 7 terrain and seabed feature if the search is focused on underwater geographical feature or specific seabed area the contour search pattern may be the most suitable choice as you are aware that the contour search is usually carried out around mountains and in valleys where there is a sharp change in elevation and other patterns are not practical search is started from the highest peak and goes from top to bottom with new search altitude for each circuit search altitude interval may be 150 to 300 meters however in this case where we are searching a person in deep seas still the knowledge of contour is very important knowledge of underwater terrain is essential for safe navigation submerged rock reefs shoals and other hazards can pose significant risk to the vessels especially during rescue operation thus understanding the seabed topography can help rescuers plan safe routes and avoid potential obstacles finally the eighth and the ninth factor search objectives and experience and expertise are self explanatory the experience and expertise of search and rescue team and coordinators are vital in making informed decisions about the most suitable search pattern Considering these factors the search coordinator and the search and rescue team may initially opt for parallel track search pattern or expanding square search pattern 
due to their ability to cover large areas efficiently. As more information becomes available during the search operation, they may adapt the search patterns as needed to address specific circumstances or new data. It is essential to maintain open communication and continuous assessment during the search and rescue operation to ensure that the selected search pattern remains effective in locating the missing person or object at sea. Remember, flexibility and adaptability are the key elements in successful search and rescue mission. I hope this was a useful video for you. Thank you for watching.